Hello my friend, I have a very fun and different video for you. As you know, I typically review makeup on this channel, but every once in a while I like to do something different. So today we are going to do a review of the food service subscription called Home Chef. Home Chef claims to save you time. They claim to have lots of food choices for you. They also say that it's more convenient than typical shopping and food prep. We're gonna find out today. So if that sounds interesting to you, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. Okay, I do have a spoiler alert for you. I have been getting Home Chef for over a year now, paying full price for it, but Home Chef has sponsored this video. And you know that even when a video is sponsored, I always give you my honest opinion about things, so it doesn't matter either way. And because I've experienced the subscription for over a year, I can tell you a lot about it and what my personal experience has been. If after this video, you are interested in signing up, I do have a coupon code and a clickable link down below that will give you $30 off of your first First home chef box. If you click the link, it's automatically applied. If you go straight to their website, you type in the code Gen30. It's either Gen30 or Gen Love30. It'll be down below, uh, and that's what you put in to get your $30 off of your first box. These are my home chef binders, and the <laughs> these are all the recipes that I've saved from getting home chef over the past year. I actually have more than this. I ran out of space in my binders for uh, for recipes, so I actually need to get a new binder but these are all Home Chef recipes that were so good that I wanted to save them. And that's one thing I like about it is that I can reuse the recipes and I get kind of a cookbook along with the subscription, which I personally love. So this is the thing. When I first started cooking, I knew nothing about cooking. My mom was a big cook, but I was never really interested in learning from her. So when I moved away to college, I didn't know how to cook. I'm gonna insert a clip of a video from my old channel that was called Jen Love 37 of the mastery of skill that I was able to do <laughs> at that age. It was not good, it was not good. Welcome to Jen Love's Kitchen. And for today's show, you're going to eat me! Yay! That's how to cook. And don't feel guilty about it because it's his life's purpose. Oh no! Not my face! No! That was... If you don't stab your potato, it will explode. Explode. <laughs> Take out all your aggressions. If you're mad at one of your coworkers, or you're mad at your mom, or you're mad at whoever, you can just take it out of the potato. Now you want to cook this bad boy for about four to six minutes per potato. And now we can do a little dance while we're waiting. Oh! Potato is ready! It's a good little lunch. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. It was wonderful cooking for you for the first time, and I will see you next time. Mad love, guys. So yeah, so when I was in college, I didn't have a whole lot of skill. And then when I got married and had kids, I really wanted to do better with my food choices. But the other thing was, is I was teaching full time and I was so tired by the end of the day that I didn't want to cook a full meal. So I would get like those frozen bags of food that you put in the pan and add some water and then just serve that. But it's frozen, it doesn't taste as good. It's got all the sodium in all of the, the little packets. It just, it's not a, as healthy of an option as cooking fresh food, but fresh food is intimidating. So after we went through the whole frozen meal phase, we ended up doing a lot of meal prepping ahead of time. And that just took so much time to meal prep, figure out, you know, what we were going to do, prepare things ahead of time. It was so stinking hard. Then when the meal service programs came out, I was super attracted to them because it looked like it was going to solve my what's for dinner problem, the meal prep, all of that. I tried like, I think four different food food subscriptions and every single one I was like this isn't the one you know food would come that wasn't fresh food would come all mixed up in the box and confusing recipes taking me an hour hour and a half like hour and 45 minutes to cook dinner like no absolutely not especially after a long day of work you know having to take a garlic bulb and peel the it was too much. So eventually I found Home Chef and I figured out that this was the one. This is the subscription that's right for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to the Home Chef website and show you how I decide and solve the what's for dinner problem every week. 
Okay, so this is the Home Chef website. I haven't picked my meals yet for Monday, December 24th, so let's go ahead and do that together. One thing you'll notice is that they already pick two meals for you. If you don't go in and change your order, then they will send you the meals that are in your cart already. My daughter doesn't eat steak, so we're gonna take that one out, and this one looks pretty good, but I'm not really sure on the specs of it. My husband's trying to eat lower carb, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and see if this will meet his dietary requirements. It'll tell you how long it takes to cook. Uh, it'll tell you how fast you need to cook it, how hard it is, and then also the spice level. The chef will give you a little rundown of his or her idea of the recipe, and then you'll see the nutrition elements. Now this has 50 grams of carbs. It's a little high for him, so I may bump this one out just because of that. The fat and protein look good for what he's trying to eat. It'll show you what comes in your box and then give you the detailed recipe here. Here. I love this because it gives me an idea of what I'm getting into before I order. And that way, if I know I'm going to have a busy week, I know I need to pick simpler recipes and maybe an intermediate recipe might not be what I'm looking for. Now, as I go over to the website, you have to order at least two meals. So I definitely need to pick at least one more. Scallop and mushroom risotto, I don't think my family's gonna eat that. Cuban steak burrito, maybe. We've had a lot of sweet potatoes lately with Thanksgiving, so I'll probably skip that. Oh, the Korean fried chicken looks good, but I see that big pile of rice, so maybe not. We've had this one before, the ranch crusted pork chop. That one's really, really good. Let's go ahead and click on that. I haven't had acorn squash in a while. You'll see it gives me an option of two servings or for four servings. I usually pick four. This is another intermediate recipe, so it's kind of like, mm, maybe, maybe not. And let's look at the nutrition here. That looks good for my husband and what he's trying to do. Uh, and let's just look at the ingredients and make sure there's nothing in there that I think my children will boycott. Looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and add four servings to my cart. Sometimes I'll add more than two. Sometimes I'll do three, uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what you can see and how you pick the different recipes. So you can see beyond that, there are quite a few other options of things that I could choose from if I wanted to. They also have these really nice five minute lunches where they don't require cooking. Those are really, really good. I've ordered those quite a few times. Every week you also have a smoothie option and a fresh fruit option. You also have the option to skip this delivery for the week if you just don't feel like doing it, if you feel like you're good on food or you just want to not order that week, you can skip any week that you want. You just have to remember at least a week or so ahead to skip it, but you can skip weeks if you know ahead of time. Like I can skip December 31st right now if I want to. I love that you have a huge window of time to make your decisions here. So that's what I wanted to show you on the website. Let's go ahead back into the kitchen. Now that we've gone over the whole process, it's time to cook now. <laughs> so tonight we are going to be making the chicken broccoli cheddar chowder with seasoned crouton. I've never made this one, but I'm excited about it. One thing that's different about Home Chef that I personally like is the you will need section. It seems very simple, but knowing ahead of time that I'm going to need olive oil, salt, pepper, and a medium pot is super helpful. So I'm not trying to figure out, oh, do I even have a pot clean right now? Cause you know that struggle, the struggle is real. The directions on here are super easy to follow. It always starts with the prep of prepping the vegetables. And a lot of times they'll have the prep already done for you, like a butternut squash already chopped for you. You know how long it takes to chop a butternut squash? Like 20 minutes. So that being already done helps a lot. And then it takes you through super easy steps with making the recipe. And usually the ingredients aren't super complicated, which is awesome. So speaking of that, we're gonna go ahead and get started cooking right now.
right, so we're done. So this is the recipe of how it looks, and then this is how mine came out. Can you see? How did I do? Did I do a good job? I feel like I did a good job, but I haven't tasted it yet. So let's go ahead and taste and see how it is. Let's see. Mm-hmm. That's really, really good. I think what makes it extra good is the cheese in the salt and like the soup part and the crunchy croutons. Can you get that like texture flavor thing going on? There, it's really, really good. So the last thing I wanted to mention is the portion size. So I've got two adult size portions and then I've got two child size portions. But along with that, I do have quite a bit of leftovers. Let me see if I can show you without spilling it. How's that? Can you see? There's a lot of leftovers. So this will be a nice lunch for me and or my husband tomorrow. Probably both of us. That's a lot of food left over. So it's definitely enough for four people, which is something that definitely happens with other subscription boxes is that they don't necessarily give you enough food for everybody that you're purchasing. So Home Chef has always been really good about that. So I definitely appreciate that. At this point, it is now your turn. I would love to know your thoughts about Home Chef down in the comments below in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness. It's not really makeup and food awesomeness. I don't know. You knew I wasn't going to not say it though because we have to because we're a community and we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. So it's not just about my opinion. It's definitely about yours. Make sure you leave those in the comments below. Don't forget, if you are interested in trying the service, you can use the clickable link down below. It'll automatically put in your $30 off your first order or you can use my code that's also in the description below and it'll do the exact same thing. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun and different video. I know I enjoyed Enjoyed filming it for you. Mad love to you, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!